welcome back friends welcome to another video from Shomo's biology in this video tutorial we are going to talk about the structure and function of centrosome and centrioles okay so let's look at it centrosome uh, I already draw the structure of centrosome here centrosome is a structure consisting of two things one is the centrioles another one is the PCM or pericentriolar material now centrioles are nothing but uh, the barrel like structures made with microtubules now the question is what are microtubules microtubules are the structure of cytoskeleton that are made with uh, tubulin proteins tubulin dimers you know there, there are different types of tubulin proteins like alpha tubulin beta tubulin so those tubulins are combined together to to make a chain or once those tubulins are polymerized like a chain it will form microtubules so such microtubules are organized with each other arranged with each other like a barrel shape and will form what is known as centriole and in the centriole we have such two barrels present in a 90 degree angle with each other now this is the centriole part now the centriole is surrounded by a dense material the material composition is just like the cytosolic composition but it is a little bit more dense now that why it is more dense because it contains so many different protein molecules in that area what kind of proteins proteins examples gamma tubulin nine pericentrin so these are the examples of protein that are found you know all these proteins like gamma tubulin nine in pericentrin they found in this PCM because they help the microtubules to grow that means uh, they, are, they help in the organization of those tubulin dimers with each other to make the microtubules uh, present so if look at look at the structure you know in the PCM we have those protein particles denoted with these red dots and not only that but it also have a position from where the microtubules originate so this black lines represents the microtubules radiating from the centrosome structure and you know if you look at here they are simply polymerization reactions one after another so so if I draw the structure it will be like like say alpha and beta tubulin and then again alpha beta alpha beta so once tubulin dimers are attached one after another it is forming what is known as a microtubule this is called the microtubule now here you see the microtubules coming out from the centrosome section and the microtubules you see two different regions for that because microtubules are polar they have a negative end and a positive end now negative end or minus end means uh, where from where the microtubules get dissociated while positive ends means from where the microtubules get associated so new tubulin dimers start to add from the plus end and the dissociation of the tubulins start from the minus end this is the idea of uh, microtubules that are originated now the function of centrosome and centrioles is to produce microtubules and why microtubules production you know to guide these microtubules to interact with the centromere region kinetochore region of the chromosomes during the cell division because you know, in during the cell division process we need to separate the sister chromatids from each other in the mitosis cell division and that thing is controlled and regulated by the microtubules and the production of microtubules is controlled by centrosomes now this centrosomes and centriole this whole idea is very common only for animal cells because in terms of plant cells and fungi we don't see centrosomes much and actually not at all animal cells contain centrosome and centriole structures for this process of cell division now the question is uh, if plant cell don't have uh, this centrosomes and centriole structure then how could they divide now the answer for that is it pretend or it turns out that they don't have centrosomes but they have a similar structure known as MTOC the full form microtubule organizing center now MTOC is very similar like the centrosome but they, they are lacking this sort of uh, centrosome barrel or centriole barrel microtubule barrel like structure what in turn they have they have a dense region where they have some proteins which are responsible for the arrangement and polymerization of uh, microtubules polymerization of tubulin molecules to make microtubules that is the idea now the structure of centrioles if we go in deeper as I told you they are present in the 90 degree angle and the structure is like the barrel if you look at the barrel uh, this this barrel is made up with you know cartwheel model we call them as a cartwheel model what is cartwheel model is that if you take this triplet normally normally this barrel in this barrel there are nine microtubules present nine such microtubules arranged 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They are arranged. If I do the cross section, 9 such microtubules are arranged. And all those microtubules are consisting of 3 tubules. 3 tubules. Everyone contains 3 tubules with each other. Just like that. Let's say these are the 3 tubules attached with each other. And I take it as a unit and I put each unit there. So it's a it's a 9 microtubule triplet that are present. Triplet means 3 such same molecules are attached with each other. So nine such triplets are present and attached with each other and they are attached by interactions in between and they also have a central uh, pair. It's not it's not a triplet, it's a duplet. Now the central pair will interact with the help of proteins known as spokes. So it looks like a wheel. It's known as the cartwheel model. So this is the cross section. If you look, this is the cross section and this is how it looks like. So this structure is only found in animals about the centrioles and the centrioles present in the 90 degree angle. Now the question is how they help in the cell division. You know in the cell division process these centrosomes are present in one place of the cell. One Only one centriole is one centrosome is present per cell. Now before cell division that is before the chromosomal segregation that is anaphase you know even before the metaphase during the interphase of cell division the centrosomes divide and make itself twice so from one centrosome two centrosomes are developed why because for the separation of the chromosomes if i if i erase that and explain about how chromosomes are separated it will be more clear for you to understand so let's say these are the chromosomes which are already been duplicated and microtubule organizing centers or centrosomes whatever you know whatever you, you think of they are present in this area let's say like that and microtubules are originated from there so it, it will try to grab uh, these chromosomes in the kinetochore region. That is the idea, right? So if you want to grab to the kinetochore region, let's say this is the black, so this is red. Once it's attached, then it will drag them in the opposite directions so that uh, the, the sister chromatids get separated from each other. Now for this whole process, they also need some other motor proteins to, to help in this dragging. There are other proteins out there like kinesin and dynein but in this case in this case of the separation they also so in that case you know you need two centrosomes to be present in the opposite pole of the cell for this segregation to occur properly but we know the cell has one centriole so they need to divide the centrosome so they in the interface in the interface cells divide their centrosome cells divide in their centrosome into two different parts so from one centrosome it makes two centrosomes. Okay, but they are joined. This this area of centrosomes are not separated till now. But just before the segregation, like like the late metaphase uh, cell cycle, late metaphase. That means in the metaphase, you know, the chromosomes are aligned in the center region of the cell called the metaphase plate. Now at that time these portions of the mother centriole, mother centriole is the centriole that are present earlier, the parent one, the mother centriole and this is known as the daughter centriole. So then during that process, this mother centriole gets separated from the daughter centrosome. So then, then the mother centrosome and daughter centrosome slowly start to migrate to the opposite poles. They will migrate to the opposite poles. So as they are migrated to the opposite poles and they are attached with the chromosome, with the kinetochore region, then they will start the separation. Now, after the separation is properly complete, what, what structure we can achieve? We will see that the chromosomes are separated. And after the chromosomes are separated, then there will be cytokinesis, which will be the division of the cytosol and the separation of the cell into two daughter cells. So that is the idea of cell division. And for that reason, we need two different centrosomes in the opposite poles. Now, the question is, uh, uh, in case of plants, even if we don't have this, we have the MTOC doing the same job. Now, the question, another uh, question is that this, the presence of the centrosomes are not that vital or necessary for the for the process of cell division for the survival for an organism now what we do even uh, in some cell division process even if we delete even if we destroy the centrosome structure still we saw there is no much difference in the cell division process no much delay in the cell different uh, 
uh, cell division processes. That tells us one important thing that this process or the presence of centrosomes are not that vital for the cell division, but the presence of microtubules are definitely vital. The presence of microtubules is much required, definitely required by any means if there is a microtubule organizing center formed in the cell that will definitely help the cell to divide. But it's, it's not always necessary that you should have centrosomes in the cell. So that is the idea of centrosomes and centriole. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and definitely subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that. Thank you.